Guys, so on this channel, we always talk about how to make money and also how to invest your money. But I thought to myself that, you know, apart from just investing, we don't really talk about how we can also save our money, you know, just in case something comes up or maybe something like that. So anyway, let's go ahead and talk about that in this video. Hey, what is up guys and welcome back to the channel. And to all the new people in the house, my name is Harry Skari. And on this channel, we talk about anything personal finance and also personal branding in Nigeria. That is anything that has to do with building multiple sources of income for yourself so you won't have to rely on just one source of income. If that sounds like something interesting to you, go ahead and smash the red subscribe button right there so you can join the family and also join the conversation. So guys, we're still moving in our 10 days challenge and this is video 7 out of 10. So as I said today, let's talk about how you can be able to save your money or maybe where you can be able to save your money consistently. And as I mentioned in one of my previous videos, I kind of adapted to a certain rule that helped me start saving and also investing in whatever I'm investing right now. And this is no other than the 50, 30, 20 rule. Well, if that sounds complicated already to you, let me kind of simplify the whole thing. The 50, 30, 20 rule is kind of an income uh, division method that helps you divide your income into three different categories where it will make it more easier for you to record all your spendings and expenditure. This could really help you achieve your financial goal and at the same time also help you start investing and saving. And uh, given the country we happen to find ourselves in, you know, like luxury really isn't an option for us not to even talk about saving or investing, but still we would have to find a way to invest or save because nothing really is changing, but at least we could maybe, you know, help ourselves and kind of build something for ourselves. So without wasting much time, let's talk about the 50, 30, 20 rule. As I mentioned, the rule requires you to divide your income or expenses into three different categories. The first one should be your needs. The second one should be your wants. And the third one should be your investments or saving. It's that easy, but let's go a little bit deeper. Let's talk about your needs. What are your needs? Your needs are anything that you cannot live without, simple and short. For example, your house rent. And if you own a house or maybe you stay with someone, let's count the other ones. Food, transportation, medical bills, clothing, and any other thing that you cannot survive without. And guys, I would say, you really need to find a way to differentiate between your needs and your wants if you really want this to work. And also, find a way to create a budget just so you know how much you spend on your needs on a monthly basis. And make sure when you write the budget, the total doesn't exceed 50% of your income. But if it somehow exceeds 50%, no matter how you try to write everything down, then I would advise you to list everything down and then track, adjust, and organize everything based on their priorities. Then maybe you can remove anything that isn't that necessary or maybe something that is less important. And still, if everything on the list happens to be very, very important, then you should just move to the last resort. Find cheaper alternatives for some of the things on the list. That way I know it would have to come down. And once your needs match up to the 50% of your income, then you move to the next step. Define your wants. You might be thinking to yourself that I want to buy this latest iPhone that just came out. No, no, I want to buy this brand new car that just came out. But wool up, wool up, just wool up. As sweet as that might sound, you are not trying to fulfill your deepest heart desires. No, your wants should be things that you could survive without them, but at the same time, not having them tends to make life a bit difficult. These are things like the airtime on your phone, mobile subscription, DSTV subscription, Netflix, and every other thing that tends to make your life easier. Make sure everything fits within that 30% of your income or even lower. Well, in my case, I kind of switched the whole thing. My savings is my 30% and my wants are my 20%. So that kind of gives me more opportunity to invest more and, you know, kind of chill less. And lastly, the 20% goes to your savings and or investments. And also, if you feel 20% is kind of a little bit small for you to be investing monthly, you can then take something only from your wants. Don't touch your needs. Only from your wants, you can take something from your wants and add it to your investments. Well, that is kind of the reason why I switched my own. So my savings and investments are 30% in my own and my wants are in the 20%. And the 20% also embodies some things like maybe emergency funds 
and also retirement savings and so since it's already for savings so you can save for retirement maybe invest in other things you know in stocks in whatever you can invest or also save maybe for something in the future that you want to do or maybe you want to buy and talking about saving do you know that you can actually set something automatically that would just be saving your money like depending on when you want it to be saving daily weekly monthly annually like quarterly anyhow you want it to save you know i do a lot of things so i sometimes kind of forget to send the money to my savings account or maybe send the money to you know my savings i kind of use this app called currywise so on the savings plan on currywise once you deposit your money into that account you won't be able to touch that money not even a single couple until the maturity date is due three months would be the minimum that you can set so once you deposit your money into your account there you won't be able to touch your money until after three months or maybe more than three months depending on how long you set the maturity date and i know there are many other savings and investment applications out there that people use but the reason why i kind of prefer currywise to any other one that i use like piggyvest is currywise has a very simple and straightforward structure like the entire app is too straightforward like I don't think anyone would download that app and be confused about anything on that app because it is just straightforward. If you want to save, you save. If you want to invest, you invest. And somehow compared to Piggyverse, you know, Piggyverse has a lot of things on it. I'm not saying that it's not good. It's actually good. I use it too. But I kind of prefer Corywise because Piggyverse has a lot of things, a lot of buttons to press, a lot of instructions to read, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of. So, you know, for someone who doesn't really like reading a lot of stuff, I just prefer something that shows me directly what I want to do and I'll just go ahead and click directly on what I came to do. So guys, if you also want to check out this app, CoreyWise, and also try to start saving today, I would post a link to download that app in the description of this video. So you can go ahead and click on the link and download this app. And also, just so you know, if you use my referral link to download this app, both me and you would receive, I can't remember how much, but both me and you would receive a certain amount to invest or maybe to save or maybe even to just withdraw like curry wise is that kind so guys question of the day let me know in the comment section do you think the 50 30 20 rule is something that would really help you to start investing or maybe do you have so much things that you know maybe the 50 30 20 rule won't really work for you let me know in the comment section and i would see if there's anything that i could help you with again apart from the 50 30 20 rule then I would find a way to let you know. But anyway, as always, if you enjoyed this video and found it to be very helpful, go ahead and smash the like button right there and also click on the subscribe button if you want to join the family and also join the conversation. And guys, go ahead and check out all the other awesome videos on this channel. I hope you find something that helps you in what you're trying to do. And as always, guys, go out there and create, but don't hate. See you in the next video.